and make sure you hang on to it as we have a total solar eclipse next year. But take a look at this. The Dallas Zoo is also reminding you to protect your eyes while watching the eclipse. This is Gus. Gus is a she. They say she wears a sun visor every day to protect her sensitive eyes from the sun. So be like Gus as you gussy yourself up for the eclipse. <laughs> all right, so if you're looking, thanks to Nicole for laughing at that. If you're looking for some places to watch it, all seven Dallas college campuses will be open to the public for eclipse viewing. You can also watch it at the Perot Museum and Nature of, of Nature and Science. They will also give you protective glasses there. Uh, UNT is also hosting watch parties and RAF, uh, RAF's Urban Astronomy Center in Ponder and Curry Hall Lawn, Lawn in Denton. Sometimes words are hard. Uh, I was still laughing over my gussing it up. All right, so let's talk about the eclipse a little bit more for you. The annual solar eclipse. So what's going to be happening is the, the moon's going to be between the sun and the earth. It's going to be in a position where it's not going to cover up the sun completely. Uh, so that's why it's called an annular solar eclipse, kind of like a ring. So let's talk about this a little bit more for us. As we take a look what's happening. Uh, so the path of annular, the annular eclipse, it, total angularity, I should say, is going to be further to the south and the west. Here in North Texas, we're going to see about 80% of the sun covered. So let's talk about this a little bit more. The partial eclipse begins around 10 at 23 in the morning. Uh, we're going to be seeing then maximum eclipse about 1152, and then partial eclipse ends right around 1 at 29. Again, wear the glasses, but also you can maybe see the eclipse when you look at the shadows on the ground from some of the leaves on the trees. You're going to be able to see kind of that same uh, image uh, that we're going to be seeing with the uh, partial eclipse, or that's going to be moving its way on. Through. So, not completely covered up for us here in North Texas, a little further down to the south, it will be. All right, so for tomorrow, beautiful sunshine to do so. It's going to be cool to start. Temperatures in the 50s, warming to the low 70s. On Sunday, 71 degrees. Sunday skies, northerly wind at 10 to 20. Monday, about 72. That north wind holding on right around 5 to 15. So the cold front moved through earlier today. Slid its way down to the southeast. Cleared out the cloud cover for us. We have our winds now remaining out of the north to the northwest. And not too bad. A light little breeze tonight. Uh, near about 5 to 10 miles per hour. It's going to increase, though, as we go into tomorrow. So tonight and into tomorrow, winds may be gusting up to 15 to then 20 to 25 miles per hour, where we have more mixing of the atmosphere, more of that sunshine going on. Uh, slightly warmer day, obviously, than our temperatures starting out in the 50s. It's going to get a bit breezy for tomorrow. No rain as we have the front move its way through. The reason I'm showing this to you is because we still have extreme to severe drought in the Metroplex, a lot of North Texas, but also we have burn bans to talk about because we're dealing with a really dry condition. So you can see burn bans are still in place in parts of North Texas. No reason to do any outdoor burning. Right now we're sitting at 69 degrees. Northwest winds holding on near about 12 miles per hour. As you take a look at the first alert seven day forecast, we're down to the low 50s to the upper 40s through the weekend. 52 on Sunday morning. We'll see 71 Sunday afternoon. By Monday and Tuesday morning in the 40s, we have a gradual warm up before the next front moves through. And with it, rain chances around 40%. You're watching us here on CBS News Texas. We'll be right back.